Hello friends, this is Barbara from Wings and Fluff. Now in today's video, I'm going to be comparing three blondes. I'm going to be comparing um, the Betty in Palm Springs Blonde, the On and Ten in Ice Sweet Cream, and the Go to Style, which I'm wearing by Raquel Welch in Shaded Biscuit. So these are just three similar colors, and I thought we would compare these three blondes today. Now then, moving on to the first one, which is the one I'm wearing, and it is the go-to style. It's a cool platinum blonde with subtle highlights and medium brown roots. And you can see how beautiful this is. Now, I haven't reviewed this one yet. This one is fresh right out of the box. Haven't done much to it, only I did trim the bangs just a little bit. And you can see what the color is, at least. And that's what we're comparing today, is this beautiful, beautiful uh, shaded biscuit color. And it's got lovely rooting in it. It's got gorgeous rooting in it. It's cool platinum blonde. That's what the Shaded Biscuit is, with a subtle highlight and medium brown roots. So it's got like a subtle platinum highlight. It's like cool platinum blonde with some platinum looking highlights in it. And it's got this beautiful shading. I love the shading. The rooting is what I call shading. I love the rooting. It's just gorgeous. And if you don't like rooting, you can get this particular color just in the Shaded Biscuit or just in Biscuit. Just in Biscuit, I think, would be the right thing to choose, and you will get this lovely color, but there will be no rooting if you don't really care for the rooting. I like the rooting. I've come to really enjoy the rooting. I think this is a really cute wig. I really like it, and I'll review it probably coming up in the next few days. So that is that one. So the next one is going to be the Betty by John Renault. And this is the one in Palm Springs Blonde. Now this one has a lot of curl in it. And it's a long, but you can see what the color is. Oops. Now I'm just combing the top because the top is straight, just the cut, the, this is the top, just to get that quickly. And the rest you do with your fingers. Now I like wearing this particular one to the side. I enjoy that, I think it looks good that way. On an older woman, I think a side ponytail or a, a low ponytail, something like that, or even an updo is a good way to wear it. This one is fine with this shirt for now. It's the one that was, so. And when I do, I like to fluff it up a little bit like that. So now it's all tamed and it's contained, tamed and contained. I'm going to put a little bobby pin in the back, the back where I can I can hold that part in because it's got so much layering. So, anyways, you can see this particular color. I think I've got it in there. It might need another bobby pin, which I have right over here. It might need two <laughs> today. Yes. The other day when I was wearing it like this, it only needed the one. But um, you can see what the color is at any rate. This one is going to be a cool medium ash blonde with icy platinum highlights and dark ash blonde roots. So you can see what this one really is like can see all of those roots. Now I just quickly put it to the side. You'll have to smooth it down when you wear it. 
but um, this is a cute way to wear it, especially for an older woman. It works, I think, for a, a lot of women, and I think it would work for you. I think it would just be adorable. Um, I like this particular wig with the pink scrunchie. For some reason, it makes the pink pop in a cute little pink shirt. Now, I've got some light pinks in my shirt, but not enough, so I would choose something different, but um, at any rate, you can see what the color of the wig is. It's just a cool medium ash blonde with icy platinum highlights and dark ash blonde roots. Now, this is a gorgeous. Palm, Palm Springs Blonde is the color, and it's just a gorgeous, gorgeous color. Now, you could get them in shorter styles if you like the shorter styles. I'm just... I'm taken with longer hairstyles, I really am. And I love to wear them in ponies or side ponies or something like that. I think it's youthful looking. I do, especially on an older woman. I think it gives you a little kick and it makes you look a little perky and younger. That's just my opinion. So anyways, that is the Betty in Palm Springs Blonde. A really, really cute wig. Now. I have another blonde that's coming, but I don't have it yet. And that's going to be black tie blonde. So that's one for down the road. So stay tuned for that one. Now the last one to compare with is the on and 10. Now I want your opinion, which one is the best that you think looks the best? Um, which one is the best for you, do you think? Now, this is the lovely Iced Sweet Cream, the On and 10 by Raquel Welsh in the lovely Iced Sweet Cream. Now, you can get this one rooted. My Iced Sweet Cream is not rooted, but you can get it rooted. I um, really like this particular wig. I think it looks glamorous. I think it's right up there with Colleen and the glamour of Colleen. I think it's just really pretty, pretty wig. And you can see that it's starting to come around. Remember, I've had trouble with the back. As I've worn it for several days, it's beginning to come around. And um, the back is beginning to behave. So don't give up on wigs too easily. I systematically go through my storage camp box and I bring out wigs that are, why did I put this in here? Oh yeah, it had this problem or that problem or something else. And then I pull it out later and I, I can fix this, I think. And I'll go back through and I'll bring it back out to the land of the hanging and on the wig heads <laughs> where it can, it can be worn. So this is just beautiful. This is a lovely color on and tin in ice sweet cream. This is pale blonde with slight platinum highlights and this one has no rooting it has zero rooting zero rooting so you have to tell me which one do you like which one is your favorite which one do you think looks the best on me which one do you think will look the best on you which one do you like the Betty with the Palm Springs blonde color and you can see them close. This, these two are really, really kind of close in color. But this one's got the rooting in it. So it's got it all dark, all the way through in lower down in the, in the wig too. But you can see. And then this is the go-to style. These are very close too. So you can see that the three of them are fairly close. Let me get this one back here. So you tell me which one that you like. <laughs> yeah. So that's my story for today. I thought that we would look at these three blondes and you tell me which one you think is the best for you. Which one do you think is the best for me? So. They're all very close. They're all very ashy. 
and platinum looking and cool. They're all in the very, very cool tones. Now I wanna to talk to you about something else. Jesus is everything to me. He is everything to me. He is my protector, the lover of my soul. He is the reason I get up every day. He is my bright and morning star. There isn't anything that he can't do. There's nothing. There's no obstacle that he can't under, overcome. There is nothing that comes between us, Jesus and me. Nothing that comes between us. He's always there for me, always. You can trust him as your savior today. You will never regret it. And he will become your best friend, your only friend probably, best friend like me. Someone that you can rely on and depend on no matter what the situation. And that is who he is to me. He is my everything. Now, um, that's my story for today. And in tomorrow's video, I'm going to be featuring and reviewing the Gabby wig by Henry Margot. Please remember to like, subscribe, and comment. And don't forget my shorts on YouTube. And that's my story for today. And I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.